and Jen St. Dennis of Business of Vancouver joins us now. Good morning, Jen. Good morning. So we mentioned this before the break, but we're talking about a proposed hotel for Nanaimo, a $50 million hotel yeah, that's, uh, that's right. a little up in the air, right? <laughs> that's right. A very ambitious uh, project for Nanaimo. So yeah, this hotel, 21-story hotel, uh, would be built beside Nanaimo's convention center. It's being backed by this uh, Chinese tourism and a hotel company, SSS Manhao, that has developed other properties around the world, specifically for the Chinese tourist, tourism market. And they plan to bring uh, 70,000 Chinese tourists a year to the Nanaimo area. Now, keep in mind that Nanaimo has a population of just above 80,000. Uh, now, City Council uh, backs this plan. They want it to succeed. Uh, they think it would bring jobs to the area, but it has run into some problems. They had uh, a May 31st deadline that the company had to meet uh, to pour the foundation. Well, that deadline came and went, and there was no work on the project started. So then City Council had to make a decision. Uh, do they give them an extension, or do they buy back the land, which is about $500,000 uh, from this company? Uh, so City Council last night uh, did vote to give the extension. They have a six-month extension to start to begin work. Uh, but the, this plan's financial viability has been questioned. Uh, a tourism consultant that we spoke to said, you know, new hotels usually aren't built until a hotel occupancy in an area reaches 75%. And in 2014, in Nanaimo, it was just 60%. Uh, so we'll have to see if this plan uh, can make it and go ahead. It'll yeah. be interesting to see if it'll actually ever be built. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, the one thing is that they are planning to bring their clientele with them, right, from China. They are planning mm -hmm. to bring the people and not just depend on the local demand. So we'll see. Okay. Well, thank you, Jen. Okay. And next hour, we'll talk about how Amazon's expanding into clothing and shoes. We'll talk about that with Jen. And if you'd like more information, you can head to BIV.com.